Correct. And now let us come back and learn the next set of reactions for the same amine. Primary amine only. I am comparing different different sets, common types I am trying to give you. Same story again. Alkyl halide, silver nitrate treated. You will get the nitro amine. Sorry, nitro ethane. From that, nitro are converted to amines always. So, I will get this. Now, what happens if I take this amine and I am going to perform a reaction called Aminolysis. Okay, very important reaction in this chapter. Amino aminolysis. Right. So what actually is this? See, lysis means cleavage. Which one is cleaving? Amino group is cleaving. So what actually is aminolysis means? <clears throat> Suppose if I take an example, first I'll take a general example, then I'll go to the specific examples. Now in general examples, if I'm taking a primary amine RNH2 and I'm adding right to this particular thing. Let us assume I'm taking an amine. I'm not taking the actual ammonia until now. Let's see. To this, I'm going to take an alkyl halide, add an alkyl halide. So first what is going to form just see okay let us write x this side r this side just general thing hydrogen one hydrogen here first important thing hx comes out minus h6 this whole group comes and adds to this r nitrogen hydrogen one more r group done now to this i'm going to add one more rx i'm still not going into the analysis reaction just see one more hx comes out and you get R, N, R, R. Still, one more Rx combines. Yes. Now, um, uh, where is this H2 removed? Just see what's going to happen. It's going to add to this nitrogen, like it's going to form a compound called uh, <coughs> R3. No, it is R4, isn't it? Sorry. It is R4. N X quaternary ammonium salt. <laughs> this is the main concept. It's going to form quaternary ammonium salt also. Now let us start seeing the examples. Now suppose I'm going to take two important examples. First one, the first example is just take ethylamine. The same thing. C2. Okay, not ethylamine. First, I'm going to take ammonia for ammonolysis. The concept is the same, but here I'm going to add ammonia. The addition of ammonia to alkyl halide is called ammonolysis. Okay, what is ammonia? Uh, ammonolysis. Ammonolysis is the process of addition of ammonia to an alkyl halide. It can be ethyl, propyl, any anything but halide, alkyl halide. So when you are adding, the first important thing, what is going to happen? There are three hydrogens. In these three hydrogens, okay, I'm writing like this. One H in Cl comes out. What do I get? I get a C2H5 N H and H. Done. So what is this? Ethyl or ethy ethanamine. Ethylamine. Now to this thing again, I'm going to add one more. Now amine has already entered. Now I'm going to add C2H5 Cl. One more. Same see here. I'm adding H, uh, this one Rx that now C2H5 Cl. Now again one HCl and this one comes out. So every time you're trying to add to this, what do I get? I get C2H5 and C2H5 and H diethyl ethanamine. Now to this particular thing, you are going to introduce one more C2H5 Cl. HCl comes out and you get N. C2H5, C2H5, and C2H5. Triethylamine or ethanamine. Triethyl. One, two, three. Triethyl amine. Right? So, this is your aminolysis. Now, let us take one more. Here, what did I take? I took alkyl halide. Now, if I'm going to take aryl halide, RCH6, same story, aminolysis. You want to add, take out hydrogen, take that hydrogen out, first hydrogen out. Every time ammonia is adding to alkyl halide, that is your aminolysis. Okay, now C6H5, N, your hydrogen is one side, HCl has come out. Yes, uh, done. NH3, no? 2. 
now again to this you are going to add one more aryl halide this hydrogen hcl comes out and you are going to get a secondary compound with two aryl groups and one hydrogen now further you are going to take this aryl halide introduce one more to this because every time you are trying to replace isn't it finally i get this cup further see here now this is with your triethyl amino lysis i'm taking i've taken ammonia to primary here you have we've got aryl compound 3 further if you take now i am at this stage this is the stage here this is the stage here suppose further if i take an add i get this salt i get this salt simple so this is the amino lysis process once again what is amino lysis amino lysis ammon amino lysis is a process of addition of ammonia to an alkyl halide right every time what is happening one one hydrogen gets replaced it goes on gets it, it gets replaced till all the hydrogens are done 